when a person develops pressure or difficulty in swallowing due to either as a result from stroke, from motor neuron diseases such as ALS, or in case of late stages of Alzheimer. It is not only with the difficulty of swallowing or choking on fluids, but another danger is that that person would not be able to spit out or swallow uh, their own secretions such as saliva, mucus or phlegm. Therefore, as caregivers, we will need to learn how to perform phlegm suction for them. Because if we do not do phlegm suction for them, even if you give them Flumosil or Moconex um, to dilute the phlegm, if they do not know how to spit it out, the, this phlegm is going to accumulate in, their, um, in the cavity, in their nasal cavity, uh, in the throat area. And in the, sometimes it, when it enters into the lungs, it will result in pneumonia. Phlegm suction can be learned, but you need to learn it from a doctor and a nurse. And then you need to get a portable phlegm suction machine, get the disposable uh, tubes uh, to actually, uh, which need to attach to the end of the tube of the phlegm suction machine and perform phlegm suction. Initially, it may be a bit awkward, a bit difficult, but with practice, you will get better. This is an advice that my mom's friend who is a nurse told me that effectively what we are doing, what we are helping them is we are doing nursing job. What we, when we do the phlegm suction, we continue um, do it, we practice and practice, it will get better. Just like any aspect of caregiving, it will get better in practice.